Hey guys, today I've been thinking about doing a recipe, so I decided why not? Tomorrow I'm going to my mom's house for dinner, and I thought, why not make meatloaf? Uh, she really likes meatloaf. So I'm going to be using Betty Crocker's recipe, and it's a pretty simple recipe. I've had great luck with it before, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. And it's very simple and things you have around the house anyway. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, I have started out with about, this is I would say a pound, a little over a pound of ground beef. And I'm going to add my onions and peppers. They say to add about a fourth cup of onion. And I add green pepper because my mom really likes green pepper. But you can skip it if you don't like the green pepper. But the onion makes it really good and flavorful. And I kind of just eyeball it. I kind of just put in as much as I would like. You know, since not everybody likes... Uh, green pepper I don't put as much as the onion in okay so after I got that in I'm going to add two cups of or two cups two. I'm going to be adding two eggs that are beaten and just pour it in this is gonna help congeal everything together and make your little loaf form okay after that I'm going to be adding one cup of plain breadcrumbs now um, they used, they use Italian, but I only have plain, so I'm just going to use that and just add seasonings. Okay. And they do say add a half cup of milk. Now, if you really like your meatloaf mushy, then add the whole half cup. But if you like it a little more denser, I would just add a little bit. So I'm just going to eyeball it and just add a little bit of it and not a lot. And then you can always add, but you can never take away, right? I guess if you made a, mis a mistake, you could maybe add more breadcrumbs, but okay. And now I'm going to be adding a half cup of ketchup in here. Scrape it all out. Get all the goodies inside the bowl. <laughs> okay, after I got that, I'm going to be adding a lot of seasoning. I'm going to add a little bit of cracked salt just do a few uh, turns of that okay I don't usually add too much salt to my food um, or if at all but for this one I do because that's what they call for I'm gonna add some pepper it's always good for just basic seasoning since they did call for Italian um, breadcrumbs I'm gonna be adding just Italian seasoning same thing and you know, just eyeball it, you know, whatever looks good, just do it. <laughs> and then um, <clears throat> add a little bit of seasoned salt to it. Just a couple of shakes here, just like so. And now here comes my most least favorite part, is mushing it up with your hands. I always recommend, and my mom taught me this way, to keep one hand clean and the other hand messy. So if you had to use the other hand for something, you don't have both your hands messy. <laughs> But yep, just mix it together and try not to make a mess like I just did. And if it's still too mushy for you for any reason, you can definitely add some more breadcrumbs. Um, that won't hurt. I wouldn't add a whole slew, but yep, do it to do it till it's all mixed in and everything looks good. And remember, don't add as much milk. I I really didn't. They didn't really like all that milk added, so. Um, yeah, it's a very typical what you would think of like diner style for the most part. You know, it's very uh, it's very traditional meatloaf. Now, some people can be using um, gravy or ketchup and um, on top, I mean, and I will be using ketchup. And as, as you see, if you can look a little closer, um, that it is a little mushy still. So I'm going to add just a little bit of breadcrumbs. And this will help. You know, I kind of just eyeball things. And most of the time it works. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but just do it to the consistency you like. And I promise your family will love this if they do like meatloaf. I'm not the biggest meatloaf fan, but I actually like this pretty good. So, All right, so this looks like a pretty consistent pretty good consistency once you get that in here bring it over here and put it in your pan scrape everything out 
and this is where this is when you'll be using both hands so you're gonna for like a loaf pan this pan is way too small for it I'm just gonna show you in this one because this is what I have right now um, my other pan is dirty so um, yes but you just form it into a loaf I might have to get my other pan hold on really quick okay so I put it in my pan and make sure you have a big enough pan because there will be there might be a little grease to it depending on uh, how much fat you have in your meat so you're just going to start forming it into a loaf like so you can do it longer you can do it flatter And more, I'm actually going to be having it sit overnight because I'm not going to her house till tomorrow, which I think it will be good to have it sit for a little bit. So I'll have to show you at her house when it comes, um, when it comes out of the oven. And I will put the directions or the recipe down in the description too. Okay, so this is a pretty good size for us. Um, So that's what it looks like. All right, I forgot to add that this is already pre-greased, so nothing will stick. Okay, so after you're done making your loaf, I'm gonna actually put mine and pl put plastic wrap over and put it in the fridge. But if you're gonna go right ahead and make this, you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 and put it in for about 40 minutes. And then that's when they're saying that you can spread um, some ketchup over the top. Um, now, some people don't, they say to spread the ketchup over the top, the fourth that you use in the recipe, but I actually use a fourth in it already, and then I use an extra little bit on the top. That, that's not what they're asking for, so you do what you want and what your family likes, or you can just add gravy um, to it. But I add actually ketchup in, its, in the mix, and then I add ketchup on the top. So yeah, so, and then the whole uh, trick to this is letting it stand for 10 minutes after and enjoy it, and I'll show you tomorrow when we make this and how it turns out. All right, so now I'm putting the meatloaf in at 350, and I'm going to put it in for about 40 minutes, and then take it out, spread the ketchup on, put it back in for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then let it set for another 15. Okay, I just all right, I just put some ketchup on the top, and then I'm going to put it back in for another 10 minutes, and then take it out. It says 10 to 15 minutes, so um, I'm going to go with 10 and see how it is. Okay, I just pulled out the meatloaf, and it was in for about 11 minutes because I had to go to the bathroom really quick. But, yep, so I only had it in for 11 minutes after the ketchup. So this is how it looks when it's done. Looks good, doesn't it? And then I made some mashed potatoes with it, and we're going to have corn. I hope you guys enjoyed, and sorry about my voice and my look right now. Um, I'm just getting over being sick, but I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you like the video, if you want more videos like this, and 